Can a skincare routine be simple yet effective? Absolutely. That's why today I'm going to show you a morning skincare routine that's really simple but really effective. So the first step is obviously to cleanse your skin. I always tell people that I don't necessarily cleanse my skin in the morning if I don't feel like I need to, especially if I did a really good skincare routine the night before. You can just wake up and rinse your face. But if you wanna have a simple and effective skincare routine in the morning, then I suggest that you use a cleanser that also has actives in it. One product that I suggest is this one by Holy Frog. It's their Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash. Some of the ingredients that it contains are glycolic acid, there's mandelic acid, which we don't hear about too often. It's it's a very gentle AHA to use on your skin. I like it for a lot of people because the molecules are a little bit larger, so it's not gonna penetrate as deep and it won't make your skin feel so sensitive. There's also Australian caviar lime extract in here. That's also an AHA that brightens and smooths your skin. There's also tamanu oil, so it helps to calm your skin after all of that too, so it's a nice way to work together. And there's rosehip oil that has lots of antioxidants and vitamins in it, so it's known to really protect your skin. In my morning skincare routine, I tend to like an AHA toner instead and get my exfoliation that way in the morning, but if you're trying to consolidate, this is a great way to multitask. You're cleansing your skin, you're getting the active, so it's exfoliating your skin at the same time, and you're rinsing it off and moving on to your next step right away. So what I like to do is I wet my skin, give a little pump, and then I, you know, gently lather it on my face, and then I'll let it sit there for a minute or two, depending on how strong the product is. This one I can leave on for about five minutes, and I feel like it really starts to exfoliate my skin, go to work, and then I rinse it off, and my skin feels really nice and it's not dried out. I also tend to find that AHA cleansers are a little bit more gentle on the skin. That doesn't go for all of them, but the ones that I tend to use are a little more gentle on the skin. The water starts to deactivate the AHAs, and by the time you've gotten out of the shower or finished cleansing your face, I find that they're pretty much deactivated at that point. So you can also move into using an active serum or moisturizer after that, and it won't be too irritating for your skin. A lot of people mention that they don't use AHAs or any strong ingredients in the morning because they're gonna you know, expose their skin to the sun. But what I'll point out is you're gonna wear sunscreen for sure in the morning, no matter what, you should be wearing it. And two, just because you use an AHA or some kind of an active ingredient at night doesn't mean that your skin is suddenly totally fine the next day and you're able to expose your skin. No matter what, it already did its job, so your skin is now more sensitive. And if you do wanna use a cleansing brush, I love this one, it's by PMD. It's a PMD Clean Pro Rose Quartz, and that's because it has the rose quartz on the back of it. I really love this one. It's silicone bristles, it's very gentle on your skin. While you have your cleanser on, especially this one, I like to use something like this because I'm gonna let it sit on my skin anyway. So I just turn it on and I let the vibrations go to town. The way it works is it just vibrates the debris out of your skin and out of your pores. So I just like to use this as an added step with my cleanser. Again, this is a simple routine though, so you don't even need to use a cleansing brush. It's just something that I tend to do, so I wanted to throw that out there, but you can also just use the cleanser on its own. And then once you're done cleansing your skin, you don't actually need a toner, you don't need an essence, you don't even need a serum. I like to use those kinds of products because you're getting lots of other ingredients and everything to add into your skincare routine. But if you wanna keep it really simple, you can just use a moisturizer that has actives in it. This is the Good Science Beauty Skin Brightening Cream. It's 0004-BR. They have a few other creams in their skincare line that do lots of different things. I just gravitate to this one because I really like vitamin C. I like to brighten my skin. That's one of the things that I look for in my products, and that's what this one does. This one illuminates the skin and brightens your skin tone. Specifically, this one has glutathione and melatonin, which are known to help brighten your skin and illuminate it. They have a technology in their brand that's called Good Silicon Plus, and it's an interesting delivery system for these ingredients for your skin. Good Silicon Plus should not be confused with silicone, which is a completely different ingredient. Silicon is a natural mineral that's already found in the body, and that's what they're using as a delivery system for these ingredients in your skin. It's very interesting. The science behind it is that Good Silicon Plus is positively charged, and your skin is negatively charged, so their whole concept is that opposites attract, so your skin's going to be attracted to the ingredients that they mix with this. I find that this product specifically is very effective on my skin. It feels nice and creamy, but it's not too thick also. So this works as my moisturizer. It's going to work as my actives. The way I use this is I make sure my skin is damp because 
all of your skincare products after you wash your face always work better and they penetrate better if your skin is a little bit damp. You only need a couple pumps depending on how dry your skin is. I just put a couple pumps in my hand. I rub my hands together and then gently pat it into my face, my neck, and even into my chest. Two pumps tends to cover all of those areas and you feel it absorb quickly. It does not leave a layer on your skin at all. It's kind of like a hybrid of a serum and a moisturizer because it absorbs so quickly and doesn't leave a layer on your skin. Next is probably the most important step in your morning skincare routine specifically, and that's your sunscreen. This is the Beat Shield, it's by Crave. I was introduced to this just last year, and it's quickly become one of my holy grail products, and that's because this sunscreen, it doesn't say sunscreen by the way, and you guys can go back and watch my Crave Beauty review because you'll find out why it's not called a sunscreen here, but this is definitely a sunscreen. It's considered basically SPF 50. It doesn't feel like a thick layer of sunscreen at all. It just feels like a really nice, almost like an essence. It's very light. It's it doesn't leave a white cast on my skin and it plays well with all of my makeup products which are the products I'm gonna use next probably so this is one of those sunscreens that I highly recommend using some of the key ingredients in this are beetroot extract which is why it's called the beet shield there's allantoin there's also vitamin C and resveratrol so you're getting those antioxidants that help to really boost the effectiveness of your sunscreen a little goes a long way but since it's sunscreen I make sure that I use enough that covers my entire face my neck and my chest and even actually the tops of my hands and last, I use a lip balm. I never forget my lips. Lip balm is life to me. <laughs> So this one that I use in the morning is by Biosance. It's a rose vegan lip balm. I like this one because it feels very light and I know I'm gonna wear a lipstick later on. So I want something that's not gonna be too heavy, not like the ones I use for bedtime because I don't want it to interact with my lipstick and make it look different or feel different. So I really like this one because it feels like it absorbs and it's really light. It's like a new and improved version of that like rosebud salve basically. It has hyaluronic acid in it, it has rose absolute. It's also got a type of algae in it that helps to plump your lips too. It's a really nice, light feeling lip balm. So that's an example of a super simple morning skincare routine. I don't always do this, but when I'm in a hurry, I definitely do something like this where I just use an AHA cleanser in the morning, I throw on a moisturizer with an active in it, and then I put on my sunscreen. Those are pretty much the things that I have to have to have in the morning, and that's a really good way to just condense it. Look for those products that are multitasking. It's really helpful. It helps you get out the door, but it's all very effective still. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to ask me questions anytime, or you can join our private Facebook group. It's called Beauty Questions Answered by Mixed Makeup. I'll leave a link below in the description box. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon.